Hey guys, it's John McGinnis with Living La Jolla, coming at you with La Jolla's quarterly residential market update for Q1 2023. Let's have it. The big story is when we compare Q1 2022 with 2023, and we see that there are significant changes in the level of listing activity. Single families and townhouses and condos all saw a double digit drop in average new listings per month, as well as pending sales and closed sales. We can see that the average days on market, as well as the average inventory of homes and months of supply have all seen substantial increases year over year, which may signal that the market is slowing down. Another strong indicator that the market is cooling is that we see sellers are no longer getting over list price. Both single families and condos are selling approximately 5% below list in this past quarter, where last year they were each getting about 5% over list price. Taking a look at our five-year chart, we can see that we have had a peak in pricing in 2022 as median sale prices are starting to level off. As for our top three biggest sales this past quarter, we have 7505 Hillside Drive, which was a 10,000 square foot five bedroom home closed at $15.8 million. 6320 La Jolla Senior Drive South, which was another five bedroom home closed for 10.5. And finally, 6545 El Camino del Teatro closing for 8.25 million. On the townhouse and condo side, 7147 Fay Avenue takes first place with a closing at $2.6 million. 220 Coast Boulevard, apartment 3F, which is a 1,400 square foot two bedroom home, closed for 2.45. And 8263 Camino del Oro closed for 2.3 or 17.58 per square foot. These statistics represent current market trends for the entire La Jolla zip code. For an in-depth analysis on how these trends affect your home's value in your specific neighborhood, call me at 858-255-0817 for a free consultation. This is John McGinnis with Living La Jolla. We'll see you next time.